Okay, so I started entering my information. You will have more than this, most likely. As you can see, you can go up to about 20. Um, I don't think I am complete, but I am complete enough to show you the next step. Um, your sheet, you have your examples, your descriptions, you've minus them out of your balance, and you're ready to categorize and make some graphs. So this assignment will have two graphs. You'll be graphing your spending by category and your spending by store. That being said, you have to make a separate spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to rename this spreadsheet here, register. Then I'm going to take sheet two and rename that um, categories. Okay, I can go ahead and delete sheet three. All right, on the categories, you're going to create two separate spreadsheets. One is going to be where you list your categories. I'm going to skip a couple rows down here, then I'm going to list my stores. Okay, so I can copy and paste this from my other spreadsheet. So my categories are right here. I'm going to select these, hit Control C for copy, go into my categories, Control V for paste. For stores, click Control C for copy, Control V for stores. Okay, you might have overlapping ones. I expect you to. Okay, in this situation, I don't have any overlapping ones. Okay, meaning you might have two two things from groceries. Um, in fact, let me just go ahead and do that to add. So I'm going to type in groceries for week two. Okay, this would be groceries, and it would be Safeway again, just to give you the example. And this was 5423. Okay, so you have at least, you might have double ups. As you can see, there's a double up. I do not have to list the double ups twice because I'm going to list my prices horizontally. Okay, so from here to here, I'm going to right click, format, and make sure that this is currency. Okay, and I hit OK. And now I start typing in my numbers. So my rent was 700. So I'm just going to type in 700. My groceries for the first time was 63.54. My utilities, 67 dollars. Television, 74.66. Dining was 60 dollars, and savings. 120 and groceries again 5423 so I'm going to list it to the right of my last one I'm going to do the same thing down here it should be the same so it should be 700 63.54 67 74 66 60 120 and then again up here at Safeway 5423 Okay, and again, you can spice this up to make it look nicer. Um, you can bold this up, bold this up, give this some borders, give this some borders, however you want to make it look. Okay, over here is going to be total. And I'm going to give this some borders and copy this, paste it here. Okay, now the totals are going to equal, it's a new formula, I'm going to hit the function. This time I'm going to click sum, okay, the function button here. So again, check this again, equal sign, function button, sum, hit OK, and I'm going to click and drag horizontally and hit enter. That totaled up that column, obviously the total is 700, but look, in the formula box, it's the sum of all those cells. Click and drag down, and I get my formula. Same deal here. Equals function sum, OK. Click and drag, hit enter, drag it down, and I have my categories. The last step is to simply graph these in pie charts. Just like we did with our stats project, click and drag down. Hold down the control button, click and drag down, and if I go to insert pie chart, I get a pie chart by category. 
I can move that to a new sheet like we did in the last one by going there. Hit OK. There's my sheet. Click and drag. Hold down Control. Click and drag. Insert pie chart. Right click. Move chart. Spending by store, hit OK. And my final version, if I move this over, will look something like this. My register, my categories, my spending by store, my spending by category. Inside of these pie charts, you can format them. You can right click. You can add data labels where they give the dollar signs in there. Just like we did with the other one, we can insert word art. You can type in my category, and add a title to a graph, however you want to make it look. Okay? But that is essentially what the project will look like when you are complete. And we'll work on turning it in later. Thank you.